what can we find in stillness, in silence, in solitude? These are scary things for some people. I know lots of people that just always have a little noise on because it makes them nervous to, to be alone. And, 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 and sometimes trauma can, can be a part of that. But I would encourage anyone that's intrigued or even anyone that's suffering just, just to trust that there's something there in the silence for you. There's something in the stillness, even just shutting off this podcast and just sitting in your chair and, and bringing your attention to the breath, the rise and the fall, not even putting on some guided practice or this or that, which are good or which can be good. <laughs> and when you open your scriptures, instead of like, oh, I got to get through a chapter, just like feel the heft of the book and, and feel notice what it feels like to actually read a book <laughs> let alone a holy book like letting your mind rest on words on a page rather than the yeah anyway the whole book is an invitation to re-experience the gospel from this perspective rather than a whole checklist of stuff we got to get done yep what if we could experience the discipleship of jesus as an endless excuse to stop and pause and we pause to read and we kneel down not just to fill the air with words but to commune and to allow our minds to pause and when we go to the temple we go not just to get something done in the temple we go to get away from all the doing and be there and actually and the sabbath day and the list goes on you know yeah yeah, they, every family. Right, every, <laughs> <laughs> even like you said, even just time with our children, time with our loved ones, time with our food, even like the prayer or the, these rituals that we do. Um, I've recently just started chewing my food more <laughs> just as a practice. And I'm amazed at how, how grounding and how powerful that is and how it feels going down my throat and into my stomach and just how it feels in my body um doubling tripling the amount of times i choose something something that simple i'm i'm just kind of experimenting with lots of different ways to be more more <laughs> mindful and more present more aware and there's so many physical things we can do this with and like you said spiritual practices that are already built into our culture and our our routines yeah um and, and even and just being with our loved ones yeah and could I add another word? You said more aware. Can we just say more alive? Mm. Like, yeah, let's say that. that you're, the fact that you're chewing your food to me, like versus what do we usually do? You know, like we're shoving it in, oh, yeah. reading the text and like, totally. and again, going back to some Christian teaching, Christians believe that when you die, your body and your spirit are separated, right? So I run into people all the time, including the person that I look at in the mirror, who's like, not really here. <laughs> <You know? laughs> my, my mind, I'm in the shower. John jokes about you're in the shower, but you're really at work. In, a yeah. meeting. in fact, the whole meeting is at, is with you in the shower. You know, oh, like man. We're, we're two places. And so you can think about this as synchronizing the body and mind so so that we are more alive and like literally bringing our body and spirit into more of a union rather than walking around like zombies like try walking somewhere and just feeling your feet on the ground mm -hmm. and, and i'm a, you know it's really easy to pull up and you know catch up on the latest and we have to so this is a nice counterbalance to everything that's driving us crazy in modern life <laughs> it's like brushing your teeth it's like, oh boy, if you don't brush your teeth, you're gonna have some issues. And boy, if we don't, if we don't have a relationship, if we can't stop, all the relentless doing starts to drive us crazy. Thanks for stopping by and watching this little clip of my podcast interview. If you wanna catch the full episode with this guest, you can click on the link below. It'll take you to my podcast and you can listen to the whole thing. Once again, I appreciate your support I've got lots of other episodes you can check out as well, and I'd love to hear what you think about it.